Hello St John's, I am setting you a computing challenge today. Can you think of a way of coming up with your own really cool dance move but use your skills of computing to be able to write a set of instructions to help somebody else do your dance move as well. So everybody needs to remember that in computing, as I'm highlighting here, computers need instructions. And we call those algorithms, don't we? Those people who've been using their actions to learn their computing vocabulary should know that algorithms are step-by-step -step instructions that help us know what to do and help computers know what to do. And this lesson, as it says, is all about how important decomposition is when we're writing algorithms. So decomposition is a word that some of you may have used in your computing lessons. I know that year four have. And decomposition is all about breaking problems down into smaller parts or breaking instructions down into their smaller component parts. So have a look at the picture. Take a look at the dance. It's called tutting. Tutting is where you move your arms mostly into geometric shapes. You might move other parts of your body. Sometimes um, people do finger tutting, which is where the fingers move into different shapes. This would be a really cool dance to try, but each step needs to be broken down so that you can learn it. It will be really difficult for somebody to perform a dance one, once for you and for you to then be able to follow that dance without having been given the step-by-step -step instructions that have been broken down clearly into each step. So breaking down each step in the algorithm for this dance is called decomposition. And that is what we're going to be focusing on in this lesson. So take a look at these examples of tutting if you can. Pause the video here and type in the links to watch them. If you can't watch them, then have a little look at some of the images on the next slide. So pause and have a go at looking at these videos if you can. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next slide. OK, so here are some pictures of the step by step stages in two examples of tutting. Now, both of these are where somebody is performing a movement using mainly their fingers or their hands. And if you look across from the first picture to the last picture, you can see each tiny step in those dances. Now, if we were going to be writing a set of instructions, for this, an algorithm for this dance, step-by-step -step instructions, we couldn't just say perform the dance. Yes, that's an instruction, but it doesn't give clear enough steps for somebody else to recreate it. So we need to decompose it. We need to use decomposition so that every little movement is a separate instruction for a person to follow. And in computing, every little step needs to be a separate instruction for a computer. So as I said, today we're learning about decomposition. We need to be able to break a sequence down into parts and we need to think as we're doing it why this is useful. Not just in computing, not just when we're using computers, in everyday life and in things like this. A choreographer, someone who makes up dances, would also need to use decomposition to make sure that the algorithm for their dance was clear. So, you today are going to be thinking about making up your own tutting style dance, and you're going to need to do it in step by step pieces. Now, the way that I've started to do mine is to imagine my hands doing the dance, and I'm going to imagine that I'm sat at a desk, and my dance or my movements are going to be made by my hands moving onto the desk. And you could do something similar. Now, I'm not drawing mine. Um, I've found some images that will appear on the screen in a minute. But your job today is going to be to think about what your dance might be. Think of every single little step. So you are going to need to draw each step in your books. Now, if you're in reception or if you're in year one, you might just draw each step. In your books. Draw the first picture of the first action you need to do. Draw the, draw the second picture of the next action that you need to do. And as you're doing the movements, draw the movement in your book step by step. You could then give the book to somebody at home and see if they can recreate your dance. See if your algorithm is good enough 
see if you've decomposed it enough. If you're in year two and above, then you might do your drawing, but you also might explain what the part is in words, which is why there's that section on my table on the screen. So in your book, you might draw a line down the middle of your book, and on one side at the top, you write the word part, and on the other side at the top, you write the word drawing. And then just like I'm about to show you, you draw each step and you explain each step in the part section. Now, if you feel really confident with this, so probably more our year five and six children, you might also want to add some notes to think about extra information that might go with each step. Maybe there's a sound that you make with each step. Maybe there should be something that you're doing with the other parts of your body while your hand or your arm is moving. Okay, so here's my example. Remember I said I was imagining sitting at a table and it was my arms and my hands that were doing the dance move, that were doing the cutting. So the first step was to slap my table, slap my hand, my right hand on the table. So I'd slap my right hand down onto the table and then I'd repeat that. So I'd do it again. So I'd slap my right hand down onto the table. And then my next step would be to make a fist and to put that fist from the left hand down onto the table. And the same again. So my four steps to start with are hand on the table, hand on the table, fist on the table, fist on the table. Now, like I said, year five and six children might want to add that you make a boom sound as you slap down on the table. Now, my four steps don't make for a very exciting or a very interesting tutting movement or tutting dance. So yours is going to need to be much more interesting than that. You might want to practice it first. You might want to get somebody to film you and then play it really slowly back or play it and pause it and see what each of your moves were. You might want to practice in the mirror, but you're going to need lots of steps show somebody else how to do your tutting movements. And here are some examples as well. So yours might look like this one. This one here is where there's a slap, there's an elbow and there's a clap. So the first step is to slap on the table and you can see the picture where there are two hands on the table. So the hand slap on the table, then the hand slap on the table, then the hand slap on the table, then it's elbow on the table, elbow on the table, elbow on the table, and then three claps. Now, if you look at the bottom of that sheet, you can see that it could be written as slap on the table times three, then elbows on the table times three, then clap times three. This is where we're using another computing technique, other computational thinking, which is where we're using repetition to make our instructions, our algorithm clearer. If you think you can do that for your set of instructions, give it a go. This one here is similar to one of the videos that you looked at where you saw a lady making a square shape with her arms. If you didn't see that, just have a go at looking at this set of instructions and maybe trying it yourself. So you can see that it starts with one arm across the body and one arm with the hand up. And then the pictures are showing you the way that the arms move. Now in this one, the parts have been given a name. So the second part is called an elevator. Have a think about why it's been called that. Look at the picture. Think about what's happening to that arm. Why do you think they've decided to call that the elevator move? And finally, you might want to have a go at doing something as clear and as detailed as this. So you can see at the beginning, it starts with the fist and the arm. The picture is there to show you. And then the notes add more detail. Hold one arm across the body with a fist clenched and so on. So can you now go away, draw your table in your book or ask somebody to help you, separate your page into two or three columns so that you can explain what the parts are, do a drawing and add notes if you want to, especially if you're in year five and six. And can you come up with your own tutting moves? Can you come up with a way to show somebody else how to do those tutting moves? So off you go, pause this video, have a go at doing that and come back to this to think about this. This is what I want you to now think about. What is decomposition? Have you managed to do that? Have you managed to decompose your movements? 
Why do you think it's useful? How could it help somebody? Not just with computers and computing, not just with dancing, but where else might you use decomposition? And how do you think it's used when creating computers, computer animations or games? Well done for having a great go at this computing lesson. If you've done some brilliant tutting moves and you managed to film them, you could always email them to your teacher. If not, see if you can bring in your instructions when we come back into school. And maybe you could share them as part of the computing lesson you have when we're first back at school.